Hey, welcome to the video. In today's video, I'm covering the weekly that came out a week ago because I didn't cover it. And to top that off, we also have an update and some features that you may not know that are actually inside the game yet. No, I heavily doubt that as this video is super, super late. Anyways, anyways, we have our Racer Weekly Rotation. For this shop, we got two carts which you guys can actually sit in, as you guys can see. We also got a bunch of these items. What are your guys' thoughts about 6,000 tokens for these shoes? This is our Rec Center shop for this weekly. And here's our community board. As you guys can see, Jeff Showmake has a new profile picture i think we have some new featured rooms as well oh they even got boxed up oh i forget i'm gonna collab with this actual room pretty soon so you guys should totally check it out we also got some stuff on instagram and we got some posts on youtube and my friend g milkman had made it now for this weekly rotation we didn't get a weekly rotation image but the next weekly rotation is coming tomorrow so yeah <laughs> i don't think we'll be getting it then but of course what do you guys think about this weekly and i had totally forgot to show you guys the items that you guys can get for sale this week if you guys haven't checked them out yet it's basically items that are like 50 percent off and they just take a bunch of tokens away and stuff save your tokens people because items are not cheap in rec room nowadays it's been brought to my attention that you can now go to people's portfolios and see how many photos and inventions they have made so of course stocking people has gotten way better and remember those sawhorse items that have came out inside of rec room they were basically rec room's first test with avatar studio and stuff well the same people that made those first ugc items inside of rec room had came out with more items of course what do you guys think they seem to be more girly as we got like pants shoes and then a pink torso and a pink hat and they're pretty cheap too none of them are over a thousand tokens which is sweet too now this is not all that rec room had they also had a new rec room update but before we get into this update, I'm just gonna shamelessly self-plug my Rec Room code. If you're not supporting anyone inside of Rec Room, or you guys just want to find a free way to support me, be sure to use my code in-game. It's just SK0L, or you guys, can, or you guys can go to my profile and you know check it out and press support. Me. Might as well cheer and like send me a friend request too while you're at it. Of course, people, the code ends every 45 days, so if you guys are supporting me but haven't checked your code in like a month or two, then you might want to check and see if you're still supporting me. Anyways, on to the update now. Titled the All That and a Bad of chips they have their tldr they added a music mode they fixed a large performance regression with rooms 2.0 rooms and performance should be back to where it was a few weeks ago they had also fixed a long-standing issue with room reports that you can now include in all the details you need or want to include it with your room reports thank you rec rumors for flagging this one it's now more difficult for loading players to break rooms and we're providing better logs for loading issues and lastly a whole lot of chips are out of beta check the list below and that's the tldr of this update basically the most important stuff if you guys don't want to you know go more into detail with this update check out this timestamp on to the update notes they continue on with full body avatars we've convinced the hand grip animations to stop being stubborn and actually update the grip values when you change your grip it's 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 we're getting a new experiment for some players to start as a full body avatar when loading into the game for the first time. Onto Rooms 2.0, they fixed a performance regression where players would lose a significant amount of performance in Rooms 2.0 rooms compared to Rooms 1.0 rooms. Let us know if you're seeing improvements this week. There's also multi-selecting components with the connect tool that now properly parents the object boards without causing any ex ex exist- Oh my gosh. Ex- 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 Ex okay, I gotta take this slow. Existential crisis. There we go. Ribbon tubes from 1.0 rooms now have their passports and can travel safely to rooms 2.0 without getting lost in the code. And lastly, fixed an issue where rooms 2.0 invention containers and shapes were playing hide and seek and not tracking to the current correct invention. They've been caught and are now behaving and have made external parent wires hidden when in a lower scope. This fixes the behavior of hide higher scope boards so that the wires of the higher scope boards are hidden in addition to the chips. Now you'll no longer get floating wires. For general improvements, and bug fixes they say that they fixed the broken room report ui where there was an aggravating text bug that would make it difficult to type a lot of details in a room report you can now include all the details you need or want to include in your room reports thank you rec rumors for flagging this one spammers be gone we disabled the go to button for non-friends in all situations leakers can now sigh in relief as we fixed an issue where teleport and snap rotation players could send items to the ground the maker pen menu buttons now have a consistent font size and won't go through identity crises when being clicked expanded out a white bar UI uh, issue with the friendatron made it more difficult for loading players to break rooms improve the messages for circuit errors when you get a player receives cv2 events before they're fully loaded the gun handle release event was feeling shy and refused to fire after reloading but we've boosted its confidence with a pep talk and some bubbly now it's firing as expected and we removed portrait mode we will enter the game on mobile in landscape mode from now on 
want. We've now added a new voice chat setting for those of you who like to play music or have their mic turned just the way you like it. You can find music mode in the advanced microphone setting sections of the audio sections page. Improvements to the copy code and share link buttons. They changed the text on the copy link button to share link. Screens and mobile players can now press buttons even when they're really, really close to them, like super close. Fixed scroll snapping when changing pages in the watch so now it'll look silky smooth. Added a new quote unquote view invention details button for both Rooms 1.0 and Rooms 2.0 inventions. When you have any part of the invention selected, a menus option will be available that says view invention details, which will then take you to the invention details page. Pretty neat, huh? When deleting points from a curved shape maker pen, you can now delete all but two points instead of one so that bad things don't happen. The report button should now appear on players' profiles that are blocking you, and no spam reporting for being blocked, please. But do report if you have experienced code of conduct breaking behavior. These following chips are out of beta, and of course, I'm just gonna scroll through them, you guys can read them. Now onwards to the end of our update, which is Rec Room Studio, and they say that they added a new field to the Canvas interaction component in Rec Room Studio to let you force control hints to show up for all platforms on a canvas. You can also use this to suppress control hints on all platforms in case of extra dense UI. By default, screen players will now see control prompts for UI, and touch players do not. This is default, is not new behavior, but is subject to change in the future. The grabber template in Rec Room Studio got a little TLC to stop those peaky, non-serialized component issues. And that was pretty much everything inside this newest update. Of course, people, be sure to let me know your thoughts. And to top that off, you guys might notice some new UI inside your homepage. It seems like for games and stuff like that, Rec Room now has this popular now UI for, you know, your games and stuff. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting. And of course, let me know your guys' thoughts. Now with this new update, we have gotten a few bugs and stuff like that, but one of the most notable ones are where players are able to make their mouths bigger. If you're wearing full body avatars and you're rejoining servers, your mouth makes your mouth bigger and bigger the more instances you join. Like, quite literally, the more instances you join of, like, the rec center, for example, your mouth just gets bigger for some reason. And it's just about that time again for RecCon. If you guys don't know, RecCon is just a rec room convention that happens in-game, believe it or not, and, you know, it's coming up. If you guys are interested, event submissions are now open, but booth submissions are now closed. You know, my favorite part of recording videos is this part. Definitely. Just want to say, I haven't told you to subscribe or like at all throughout this entire video, so it'd be really cool if you did that. Even those post notifications too, maybe? Anyways, the whole point of why I'm here is because I'm here to read you guys my memberships. If you guys don't know, I have memberships which I give perks to. These people give me money every month and they get shoutouts and sneak peeks to all my videos and stuff like that every single month. So of course, massive shoutout to Jack Tutorial, The Dragon Boy, Bear to Bear, Nat the Pup, Mr. Ink, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Dozer Blade Cat, BB, Burning Owl, Yo, Shaky, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix 69, and of course, Box David. Really do appreciate it. These guys have been supporting me for months. So uh, yeah, shoutouts to these guys. If you want to be in videos like this or you know get some sneak peeks to my videos consider joining the membership anyways back to the video and to end off this video rec room finally released a rec room highlights video it's been a long time since we got in one and of course a lot of people in the community were pretty happy i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty happy too and i miss when rec room had all those like community videos that they would post on their channel and stuff it's nice to see it return and so unfortunately that was pretty much this entire news video and basically what happened this week be sure to let me know your guys thoughts on the update and of course, I will be back with this weekly rotation that's coming out tomorrow by the time this video is uploaded. Thank you guys for all the love and stuff like that. And of course, if you guys haven't already, be sure to go check out the video that's shown right there and stuff. You guys might like it. I make a bunch of Rec Room News content. And of course, feel free to share this video with a friend. And just to add up, before this video ends, I just want to say uh, sorry for, you know, not uploading and stuff like that. I've been kind of lacking on the news and stuff. I, I apologize. And uh, college is really whipping your boy. But of course, your boy's still learning. He's still learning. Anyways, thank you for watching the video and bye-bye.